the safest psychiatric drug. Is it safe? In fact, could it be the safest? And I want to argue that the answer to that is yes. Uh, so I'm going to share with you some of my thoughts today about lithium as a very safe psychiatric drug. I think the reason many people think that lithium is not safe, or often people use the phrase that lithium has a narrow therapeutic index, um, I think that's a wrong idea. That's what I also taught for many years. But I think it's actually true that lithium levels are not very relevant for efficacy. They're only really relevant for toxicity. So um, really, you'd have to say, based on the studies, that somewhere in the level of 0.4 to 0.6 is effective. It's proven effective for all aspects of manic depressive illness. And only a minority of people who do not respond to those levels of 0.4 to 0.6 may need levels of 0.8. And they tend to be the ones with more severe mania uh, type 1 bipolar illness. So for the type 2 bipolars, who's the majority of your patients, and the cyclothymics and hyperthymics, if you start diagnosing them, which would be even more of your patients, or for suicide prevention, dementia prevention, which is even more people, you don't need to use levels of 0.8. You don't even need levels of 0.6 in most of those people. You'll do fine with levels of 0.4 or even below 0.4. And now this gets at the safety. If you're giving lithium at levels of 0.4 to 0.6 or less, you will not have hardly any kidney harm. You will not have hardly any long-term chronic insufficiency. You will have very little thyroid impairment. And you'll have really low side effects such as weight gain and cognitive impairment and all the other lists of symptoms that people can get with lithium. But the vast majority of people will tolerate it with almost no side effects and with very little long-term harms at levels of 0.4 to 0.6 or less.